No, I, really I, I actually want to marry him. Um, but he doesn't want to marry me. Uh, I didn't say that. I said I might. I have seen so much of you. Yeah. I mean... But you're a very lucky man. The difference, this queen in season three, between them, they're more settled, aren't they? It's like, oh, I'm sure they've got their, all of their children now. A marriage is more settled. It's less about the kind of dramas of, you know, where their marriage is at. It was, you know, a big part of seasons one and two. This season, I would say... More external factors that are bothersome. Our challenges come from outside. So episode seven, this season, is all about the moon landings, um, which happened in 1969. Peter kind of really interestingly uses that event uh, to explore Philip a little more and where he's at in his life. They've got an amazing voice department here. One, once you start going through it, you realise a kind of every syllable and every word, you, if you've missed, you've got it wrong. <laughs> You're given amazing research team on this, on The Crown. So there's a whole floor of people just, and they get, so within asking, five minutes of asking Ben who is having an affair and on such and such a year, we got a whole dossier on, on Margaret. If you have someone in a scene that you're working with that will kind of sort of go there and there, there'll be no, um, there's no hesitation at all. We can, there, there have been scenes where we've had to sort of tear each other apart, really. Yeah. And you can go along with, some, some actors you can't. Some actors will pull back and neither of us do really. And I think we had that conversation very early on in there, on that bed. I think we both felt very safe. Yeah. Yes. And Peter's scripts are, are so um, muscular in a way. You can really rag them around and, you know, what on the page might seem like a tender moment or a, an argumentative moment, they can become something totally other when you get in the yeah. room and start playing. Mm -hmm.